I want it out of my head The moment I let you fell I cannot remember anything else The light burning low So better by ghosts The patterns are painted on walls of the halls With only the cold A dreams decomposed We were supposed to be bold She knew what we did To fight with what's right Did we lose the light? No, we never let go We never lost hope Now we must rebuild Even though the road is so broken and cold What we get back to your post It's not about us It's about the unborn The originators are our voice We weave it to bring us Who have yet to come on board We maintain the tales of a fort When virtue was true When we protected them This is you It's easy to do We had nothing to lose The blues is a bruise Is providing the proof We still walk in tall of these rooms While the pathways improve So let the world of ruin be removed So we make way for this horizon A new dawn and we're building To repair for the respawn Retaliate against fate By rebuilding the gates Who I have a city again We will be since the home and a place Regardless of hate Regardless of the shackles they place So here we are with armor on So ready to fake Bound low Until we saw the soldiers Of our last brigade Holding on to the vision Of the king's court Made plain Written down on tape This is the revelation Of the air game Call the messengers No delay We write the future Of Electria What we is This is the way We write the future What we is This is the way Kingdom warriors, yeah, with wisdom and honor, yeah, we be on it, honor with the promises of our ancestors, telling us if we go towards it, we'll find it. If we remake the bridges to the towers, we'll reconnect the light and the power, and we'll break whatever blocks the new day by roaring louder. Yeah, we're on it, yeah, we go onward. Kingdom warriors, let's be young, we're promised that we gon' have a home again, and yeah, we know that we on it. Allegri, you're waiting for it's what we get to return. Here we are, let the other light burn. Light burn, light burn, light burn. Allegri, you're waiting for it's what we get to return. Here we are, let the other light burn. Light burn, light burn. Allegri, you're waiting for it's what we get to return. Here we are, let the other light burn. Let the other light burn. Allegri, you're waiting for it's what we get to return. Here we are, let the other light burn. The light burn Let the other light burn Web3 has the possibility to expand our mind and expand our tent pegs to what is possible. Communities like this is that we come together to create the solutions that we want in the world. The community needs your story, so come join us. Technology is a tool to impact and bring God's kingdom here on earth. Right, play to earn, that's, that's where the game changer comes in. Well, Web3 is all about asset. What you have to say is what's needed to be said in Hollywood. People are looking for the miraculous. Part of taking back some of that ground. You are bringing the light into such a dark, dark place. Very focused on, you know, impacting people. And just getting started. Participate. Our partnership is it's helping to cut that cord of poverty. Mentorship, entrepreneurship, and faith. These are your pillars to success. We have given a solution that uh, we have brought this people from Sony, Disney, and Marvel to solve. Will you be a part of this? What is going on, Kingdom Warriors? It is Eric Skeldon founder of Kingdom Warriors, and I am super stoked for today. We are on day three, Casting Vision. We have an amazing um, session for you today. I want you guys to, uh, one, let me know where you're coming in from. Like I said, it, we're here out of the Nashville, Tennessee area. Where's, you know, our, I would love to also hear uh, where you guys are coming in from um, around the world. I love that Kingdom Warriors, um, just the total God idea that, we could have created an ecclesia through art, through entertainment, through the film, through people that are excited about the music, the film, everything that's happening and seeing people. I saw someone yesterday from India that was just so inspired that people are sharing their stories. They're using their voice for the first time. They're creating their own God dreams. They're launching books. They're launching e-commerce businesses. Um, we got Taz from South Africa. Come on, Norway. Inger is one of our Norway representatives. Come on. Uh, we got northern california shout out to california from here to hong kong what's going on new zealand in the house you guys we got a super strong new zealand community there's some anointing for new zealand and the fact that lord of the rings was shot you know middle earth was shot in new zealand i love it in south africa as well um 
We're excited to one day film in New Zealand and South Africa. Shalom. Tag your teams. Tag your battle buddies. Get pumped up. You were born for such a time as this. You were born for more. You were born to conquer and have dominion. Come on. What's up? Um, but yeah, only God could have thought of using technology, using the blockchain, using Web3 um, creative assets to bring us all together, to connect us all for God dreams, as resources, to give us purpose, to give us clarity, to give us uh, provision for the vision. What is the vision you have? And what, it, you know, what do you have in your hand? What provision do you need for that? And, um, you know, as we have a kick two, two, write the vision down, make it plain. As we were doing that, um, you know, that's what really helped us um, to, to one, bring in the capital, bring in the funding, bring in the harvest, bring in the seed that we needed to um, receive the harvest. And um, yeah, it was, it was epic. So I want to go and give some shout out, some love to some of our challengers. Um, also for today, the way that we're going to be giving away two, two, uh, $222 NFTs, um, you are going to go to my Eric Skeldon digital creator profile, not in the private group, but um, in the public group. And you're going to share this broadcast for someone to hear some of the stories from our producer, um, Prophet Andrew Whalen. You're going to hear from Kathy, Jacqueline, people from all over on um, some of our amazing panel um, here at Kingdom Warriors. And just to hear some of these stories of one, what God is doing and what God's doing amongst, you know, some of our tribe and doing together with us all um, creating epic things. We create epic things more together than on your own. That's one thing I've learned in business and I've learned in whether you're in business or ministry, you're not going to be able to do it alone. One of the quotes we love that's an African proverb is if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. The military really drove that in is that we needed to, you need to bring your team. You need the dream team. You need the dream team to make your dreams happen, to bring in the resources, to bring in you know, the artists who made this, the people who are making, you know, all these people's signatures for our film series, those are cast and crew people that could do only the, what they could do. I wasn't able to do all of it, but we have cast and crew. We got an epic dream team who's able to make things happen, connect us all in technology, bring resources, bring ownership. You know, Web3 allows for ownership, whereas Web2 just allows us to read and write on the internet. Web3 allows us to own assets on the internet, to own um, digital real estate, you know, and this is something for Kingdom Warriors. You guys are going to go out and take dominion and territory and own physical real estate, but also digital real estate. You guys are going to be, um, you know, owning these assets um, and really, yeah, taking territory. So let me share some love to teams. Um, we have some amazing teams that are um, basically they're creating, you know, we we created this amazing um, place where people can join teams on these challenges. And we found a framework where, where um, you can basically get more out of the challenge by actually going live, activating what you're learning. We had Dr. Brian Simmons go through the four pitfalls and five stages of launching your God dream. Yesterday, we went more on story and assessing the battlefield and counting the cost of what it's going to take to do your God dream. You, you know, Jesus said, count the cost. If you're going to build a castle, if you're going to build a house, you want to look at the blueprint, look at the foundation, look at the team, look at what you're going to need um, and how much, what's the budget of this dream? If it's a $10 million budget for the dream, you're going to have to reverse engineer. Okay, what's the beta? You know, is this a 50K project? Is it a 100K project? And you're going to have to see, how, you know, who do I know that can help me do this? You know, who, who are the strategic alliances you're going to need to partner with? Launching the big God dream is, uh, yeah, usually it's going to be so big that God's resources are going to have to come in. God's strategies are going to have to come in. But the amazing thing is Jesus said, I have taken the keys of sin and death, and now I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom. And he said, I'm giving you authority and power. Generate wealth, Deuteronomy 8.18. He's given us authority and power to um, bring dominion, to bring solutions, to bring excellence to this, the spheres that we're in and partnering with people who also will bring excellence in those spheres. Um, what is Kingdom Warriors? You know, what is this whole, these challenges? What are we building in this tribe? We're um, building <clears throat> epic entrepreneurs, uh, creatives, but we're, our mission is to empower Kingdom Dreamers and creatives to take back the Arts Entertainment Mountain. The Arts Entertainment Mountain, you know, it's ultimately from the creator, the most art artistic, 
the most amazing, entertaining, fun person, you know, is the creator of all the cosmos. You look at, you go to like Colorado or you go to the mountains and you look at um, the heavens, you see the stars, you see shooting stars, you see uh, the Milky Way. And you can't not say, man, we have the best artists in the world that has created epicness. And what did Jesus do? You know, 80% of the healings, 80% of the miracles happened in the what? Marketplace. Put that in the comments. Miracles happen in the marketplace. So the Netflixes, the Disneys, the studios, the streams, um, technology here on Facebook. Shout out to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. We're streaming all over the world right now. Um, tag some people on this, share this broadcast. Um, people are going to be impacted from this message, um, today and some of our speakers. So when we're, we're doing this by creating efforts that inspire, encourage, and unite, you know, we talked earlier, you know, watch the day one and day two, a little bit about the God dream. Um, we talked about a little about the story, you know, what it takes to start building some of the brand, start building the story, start building the community. What are the resources? Com the power of community is the ultimate thing. It's about people. It's about serving people. How can you bring people in and how can you add value to the people's life? And with Web3, there's actually ownership. So everyone is, you know, becomes an owner of uh, the NFTs in this Web3 brand, which is just amazing. Uh, today, you guys are going to get a special sneak peek at some narration from John Reese uh, Davies from Lord of the Rings. Um, it was recorded out in Ireland. And man, it's totally just a God dream that we have a, someone from Lord of the Rings narrating our four part films. Um, just, I can't even, yeah, I can't even begin to describe. Just so thankful to God. And this was a quote my team made of one of the um, things, you know, I talk about a lot that I had to get over was the fear of man. I was just afraid of what are people going to think if I fail? What are people going to think if I fail a business? What are people going to think if I start speaking on stages? What are people going to think if I start sharing my story? And, ultimately to do what God had me to do, I had to get over the fear of man. And so we talk about this a lot, you know, let's get over the fear of man so we can go after God's plan. You're going to hear later this week from Michael Pink. Um, today we have Dr. Joseph Peck on, uh, Oz Hillman as well on tomorrow. Uh, Andrew Whalen's going to be on today. Uh, amazing. Michael Morgan, uh, you heard from him a little bit yesterday. He gave some amazing rap in the studio yesterday. Um, but here's some of the prizes for sharing this, for being engaged in this challenge. KingdomNFTs.com. If you're not registered, you must go to KingdomNFTs.com to get registered for the challenge so you can um, be able to win any prizes. And um, But yeah, we've been giving out you know a ton of Blue Yeti mics, lighting kits, training courses, and even these $222 assets that uh, the most expensive one has sold for, I think, $1,573. Um, so over a thousand dollars, you know, for some of our more legendary, more rare kingdom warriors. And, you know, the whole uniqueness about NFTs is even the rarity of, you know, you never know what you're going to get. So it's like, it's like, I always call it Christmas and whatever month it is, because you get to open these presents and see these, the, your piece of art designed by Nicholas, um, you know, our Sony artist. Um, so this, some of the creations, this from our community, our tribe. Uh, man, so much creativity here from the writers to the musicians to the artists. We've we've just through our challenges, we've done these art contests where people have won money and um, NFTs and assets all through just creating art. And we've seen some of the most amazing music be created, um, some of the most amazing writing and stories, plus um, physical pieces of art that people have mail us. And it's just crazy, like how amazing our community is. Um, and then this is some of the art from Kingdom Warriors next to the um, a billion dollar brand in one year, Board AP Yacht Club started in May. We launched in November and we're, we're in New York City at the biggest NFT conference in the world. Um, you know, some of our art was there, you know, in the physical. So what's cool about NFTs is art is becoming more than just, you know, you see Kingdom Warriors, our brand here, and we have clothing. Uh, you got the Mandalorian right here, but what we're learning and as, especially as we're partnering in film, we're partnering in different ways is intellectual property can can um, branch out to a lot more than just your digital assets. Digital assets, it starts there. But we see um, NFT brands and intellectual property turning into books, turning into food trucks, turning into all sorts of stuff that's physical, but then also digital that's, you know, brings ownership to an official collection on the blockchain. Uh, so yeah, again, to win some of the $222 NFTs, 
Kingdom War NFTs. Uh, we're getting close to being finished with our 8,888 collection. So to win one of those, you want to um, share this, tag three people to this stream, um, and then also, um, yeah, and then also, uh, what is it? And then the two winners from yesterday are Sean Donahue and Taffany Williams. It This is this is really cool because this was randomly generated, which means that our team picked from the people who were sharing and tagging people to our streams. And the two people who won are one, one of our orchestra, one of our kingdom generals um, who, who is an amazing uh, musician and artist and uh, creative who makes amazing music for kingdom warriors music, our YouTube channel, and also for, um, you know, just for, yeah, our, our music division. And Sean Donahue ended up being one of the winners. That's amazing. And then also Taffany, uh, one of our Kingdom Generals, has been pouring into, you know, helping us get our um, record some story for our brand and our story um, in a in a basically a videography shoot. And she's here in the Nashville, Tennessee. She's on the head of um, or she's on the board of women in film and she's super active into indie films here in Nashville. So um, amazing that both of them won the music side and the film side. That's I think that's just prophetic that the people that are in our tribe that are now making music with us, film with us and just doing creative outlets with us are getting just blessed randomly. That's just so cool. And then one assigned copy of the Kingdom Mind goes to Cindy Broder Peckett. I uh, hope I just said your name right. God bless you and your kid. Uh, that's an amazing picture. And so, yeah, uh, congrats to you. If you guys need to know some of our team, at least for the challenges, um, we got Aurelio, Anna, Shanae, and here is the update on the leaderboard um, for our teams and some of our top contributors and most encouraging warriors right now that are in the running to win prizes. Give it up for them. Give it up for all of the amazing um, our teams. So Dream Releasers are number one. Conquering Kings, number two. Warriors Unite is number three. Kingdom Visionaries is number four. And Kingdom Dream Launcher is number five. Uh, you guys are awesome. So awesome. I will stop sharing and bring up some of our um, panel for today. You guys, again, tag some people in this broadcast. Let some people know about it. You're going to hear some amazing, inspiring stories today um, of, you know, how the heck do we turn, you know, an NFT project into now uh, partnering with an amazing production company, writing stories, making books, um, you know, reaching nations with with art and with storytelling and with film and music, you know, it's kind of totally when I look back, it's like, OK, you couldn't have planned or predicted it, but you could write down a plan. You could say, God, who do you want us to partner with? And you could, you know, say, God, what do I have in my hands? How do you want me to multiply my talents? How do you want me to multiply my, my gifts? And so we we want to show people in our in our kingdom warrior community, whether you're in our you're a holder of our assets to you're in our free challenge here streaming right now on kingdomnfts.com. We want you to be inspired that there is more, there is more to life. I think Dr. Miles Monroe said it best. He said, the wealthiest place in the world is the graveyard. You would think it's wall street. You would think it's Walmart. You would think it's, you know, something else, but the wealthiest place in the world is the graveyard because too many God dreams go with them. Books, patents, dreams you know visions that you know they want people wanted to steward but for whatever reason they were afraid they weren't able to go after it they were trapped in a system you know sometimes we like to call it the matrix you know you're trapped in this you're trapped in this matrix thinking you know man some people could do something great some people can write a book some people could speak but you know you if you go back and listen to my story yesterday i was the guy who i was 80 labeled add dyslexic ADHD, um, you know, stuttering and speaking. If you still watch my speeches, I still say, um, I'm still not the best speaker. I'm just getting my 10,000 hours, Malcolm Gladwell practicing and getting my reps in. Um, and then hopefully I get better and better. I mean, when you work out every single day, eventually you get better. And I used to work out a lot more. So now that's my next focus to get back to when I was a college athlete and army guy. But anyways, let's um, bring up some of our panel for today. But yeah, we are wanted to inspire you that it doesn't matter who you are, you have a story and you can overcome the obstacles to go after and possess the promise, to possess the dreams God has for you. It is possible and we're seeing people in our community break through transformation. And I just declare that for you today that something is going to break, something's going to shift in our mind, in our mindset, the renewal of the mind that says, you know, I had this narrative that I can't, 
I say the word can't a lot. I'm slow. I'm stupid. I'm not able to do it. To No, I'm more than a conqueror. I can do this. I can get up. Even if I could do one thing today, what is one thing I could do today to go after my dream? Is it just write, you know, 10 minutes a day? Is it just, you know, watch on YouTube every one hour, a, you know, one hour a day, for, you know, for five days a week on this new skill you need to learn to get to where you want to go? Yes, yeah, so you have the mind of Christ. Come on. We get to choose. God has made us powerful enough to choose to be powerful or choose to be weak. We could choose to just be passive, weak. We don't do nothing, or we can choose to be powerful enough to say, no, I'm going to, I'm going to get the skills I need. I'm going to work at it. I'm going to put some energy towards it. I'm going to start going after the thoughts that don't, you know, the quickest way, I think Dr. Caroline Leaf talks about it, you know, and changing our thoughts and our habits. There's another good book, Atomic Habits, but you know, it's a lot easier to go to the thinking that just says, nope, not for me. I can't do that. I can't learn that new thing because that's quick. You know, our, the, the way our brain works, it wants to go to the quickness of, you know, of just the neural pathway that says, nope, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to watch Netflix. I'm just going to, you know, do whatever's easy. And, you know, warriors are meant to do hard things. We're meant to face some giants. We're meant to slay some, slay some, um, Goliaths in our, you know, in our journey and in our hero's journey, all of us have a hero's journey. You know, I didn't know mine. So I really started seeing all the things God had to deliver me from all the things God had to have me face my fears to grow from. And, you know, <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of people and it could be family who are going to say, you can't do that. You can't do this. And you're going to have to, you're going to have to look at them, look, face the rejection and say, I can do this. I'm going to go after it. I'm going to push and persevere. If God gives you a vision, he's going to, he's going to give you ways and tools and you need to be in a place to cultivate that. But your brain has to be the place, the ultimate place that you cultivate your belief in yourself through what does God say about me? What is God speaking? Start declaring the word over yourself, declaring what God's truth, truth is over your life. And surround yourself by people who are going to start believing in you. Finding mentors was the ultimate, you know, one of the ultimate things I did. Even paying for mentors and paying to be in tribes and mentorships that were able to put me in a in a in a cultivation to where there was a, a whole bunch of other crazy people like me that thought, "Hey, we're rebels, outcasts, we're misfits. We're not like the mass, you know, the mass people who say I'm never going to do anything. Just staying, earning thirty, forty thousand, you know." a month for the rest of my life and I'm just going to pay my bills and die and retire. And that's going to be my life story. You know, we said, Hey, there's more to life than this. And we said, you know, what if we get around a, a whole bunch of crazy people who will cheer us on, who will encourage us even after we're, you know, failing forward, even after we mess up, even after we mess up our talk, even after we, you know, give our first offer, create our first thing. We, you know, create our first YouTube channel and it's not the best YouTube channel in the world. Um, so yeah, your words create worlds, be around people who are going to create an atmosphere to encourage you. Even if they're encouraging you to say, Hey, here's some feedback. Boom, 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 boom. You could have fixed this. Your writing wasn't the best, but you did do this good. And they could say, Hey, you know, and it can encourage where you're at in your growth journey. And so, um, with that, I want to bring up, um, we will start with, uh, Dr. Joseph Peck. Joseph, we'd love to hear, um, you know, you love dreams. You love some of this um, dream stream stuff. We'd love to hear some of your thoughts on just what you've heard today and just what you've kind of seen through even Kingdom Warriors and just the dreams that are kind of coming alive. Well, thank you, uh, Eric. Um, I appreciate the uh, invitation to be a panelist here today. Uh, this uh, topic of empowering dreams is near and dear to my heart. Uh, that's the purpose of um, my company, Empower 2000. Our two-word purpose statement is empowering dreams. And back uh, several years ago, uh, when I was participating in a group called the Champions Club, the beginning of the first message of January of this one year, it's, I think the year 2017, uh, the person that was leading this had a slide up and it said, it always starts with a dream, with always in a capital letter and dreams in capital letter. And the horse that won the Kentucky, Kentucky Derby that year in May of 2017 was named Always Dreaming. <laughs> that was fascinating. So 
Anyway, I want to say uh, before I just share some thoughts that I wrote down that uh, Eric is, you know, you're one of the most, one of the premier thought leaders in the metaverse and NFT space. Uh, that's not just what I've experienced, but what I heard in my spirit as well. And also, you're one of the most extraordinary kingdom entrepreneurs I've ever met, sparking explosions of creativity ev everywhere you go. You know, when I'm in conversations with you, I, I think bigger. I start to dream bigger. I see possibilities where I didn't see them before. So being connected, you know, for you in the audience, being connected to uh, someone like Eric is huge in, in the community. And this community that uh, Kingdom Mortars has established is... Uh, one of the most inspirational and engaged communities I've ever come across. Uh, almost everyone that's a part of the community, they're in the game. <laughs> they're not just in the bleachers watching. And so that's really cool. But also it's a growing community, but also a growing community where the people that are part of it are all growing as well, too. Uh, anyhow, I wrote down here, too, that, you know, how do you live your God-given dream? What's necessary for you to create momentum? Um, well, number one, it's important that you know what your dream is, <laughs> that you write it down, because uh, then you have a target. Otherwise, it's like having uh, a bow and arrow and shooting it somewhere. Well, you might hit something, but the chances of you hitting your target is small. But even if you if you've written down your dream, even if it's not the final thing, you now then know that your target's over here or it's over there, but you have some idea where your target is and you can start aiming for that. You can start directing your life for that. Another part comes to uh, funding. You know, Eric with Kingdom Warriors has modeled what funding might look like uh, for some people. But in 2022, I, you know, he, he Eric launched this thing at the end of 2021, Kingdom Warriors. And what he accomplished in 2022 is absolutely amazing. But, you know, he, he had something written down. They had a plan and he had some core people that were helping to encourage him and help him provide counsel in the direction uh, he was going. Uh, but in 2022, they generated, I think, a little more than a uh, million dollars. And so that's still a small business, but they're really they're, they're moving the needle on, on the they're moving the needle on the dial to impact the arts and entertainment mount, which is really cool. And it's great to be part of a community like that. You know, when I met Eric, I mean, right away, I knew I wanted to stay closely connected with him. And when we hosted uh, Eric on a webinar for our audience, for the Empower 2000 audience, I was surprised, astounded by the response of my followers who tend to be ba baby boomers. And I, I didn't think they would understand this or be interested in it, but the response was amazing. Um, so anyhow, knowing what your dream is and writing it down, that would be an important step. Funding is another important step. And so even though, you know, going the NFT route, creating your own NFT, NFTs might not be the route that you get your funding. When you're part of a community like this, you're part of uh, this, the momentum. It's like riding in a Peloton, a bicycle, a, you know, a bicycle race where the people are together and it takes a lot less effort if you're not the one that's that's leading the way if you're just part of that that group. And that's what it's like being part of the dream community. So, you know, the third part, you, you know, knowing what your dream is, one, two, funding. Third part is being part of a dream community. As Eric shared that African proverb, you know, if you want to go fast, go by yourself. If you want to go far, which is what your dream is going to require, um, go with others. And so this is a great community to, to go with. As I said, the Kingdom Warriors community is one of the most inspirational and engaged communities I've ever come across. And we're in the process of, you know, we're, we've been building our own community uh, for several years. I also want to mention, too, that, you know, the number one, I'm branded as a time doctor, uh, not by myself, but by uh, the Holy Spirit. And I've written a book about time. Uh, but the number one time waster by far for most people is not living your life on purpose. In other words, not knowing what your God-given dream is and not pursuing it. And, and so when you have, when you know what it is, well, then you can say yes to things that are important to move in that direction. And you can say no, no to things that aren't important. So uh, most people, they're spending their time on things that really aren't going to make a big difference long term. But, um, you know, when you know your dream, then, then, uh, 
as, as you start to take steps in that direction, those steps are going to have greater impact. Um, also wanted to just mention that, you know, Eric today, I think, is going to open up the uh, the opportunity to invest in yourself and the Kingdom Warriors NFTs. I love the whole name Kingdom Warriors. Right? Isn't that what we all want? We want to be a Kingdom Warrior, not just, you know, a cheerleader on the side, but we're engaged in the battle. And and so some of you might not know what an NFT, a non-NFT is, a non-fungible token, but Anyway, in this case, uh, for Kingdom Warriors NFTs, it's a piece of digital art. But when you buy that, you know, if you buy one or if you buy, you know, there's different levels that you can buy in at. Um, what you're doing is you're buying uh, this unique piece of art for yourself, and that has value. Uh, but as the value of Kingdom Warriors uh, increases, as the value of the company increases, the value of your NFT that you purchase is also going to increase. So, for example, say Eric, you know, does a million dollars. I mean, did a million dollars of business in 2022 and say in 2023, uh, they do five million dollars of business. And then that's realistic. He actually has a plan for how they're going to get to that next next step. Well, what you purchase, whether it's one NFT or a bunch of them, you know, the value of those has gone up. And you could now sell those or you can hold on. But let's say you don't make a dime on what you go ahead and choose to invest. What you're investing is making it, bringing the kingdom of God uh, to the arts and entertainment mountain and to the other mountains as well. You're, you're investing in shaping culture, you know, making a real difference in, uh, in, in, in how our communities function, you know, whatever country you happen to be living in. And so I encourage all of you uh, to consider purchasing at least one F NFT. But if you can afford, uh, if you have the money and can afford to purchase more, purchase the ones for like, I don't remember the price break, but the ones for $7,777. In other words, invest in the kingdom and you will see a return on that investment in your own life, in your personal life, your family. And in, the, in whatever kind of work that you do, it'll come back to you. So the best investment you can ever make will be the investment you make in yourself. And the Kingdom Warriors, getting involved in the Kingdom Warriors community, even if you don't buy an NFT, but it's just staying involved, will be a great investment in yourself. And so, and anyway, thank you, uh, Eric, for this opportunity. Thank you to the other panelists. You're amazing. I mean, the whole... You know, the whole community is amazing, even the people that are never speakers. Uh, and also, I encourage you to sign up for that special where you can be in the private room. Uh, there's still time to go ahead and do that. Uh, there's a lot of strategic connections that happen there. There's revelations, new revelations that happen there. And so invest in yourself, invest in Kingdom Warriors, and uh, <laughs> you will be glad you did. Come on, you guys, Dr. Joseph Peck. Yeah, thankful for, you know, the relationship and just Empower 2000 and, you know, even being a part of your mastermind and getting mentorship from the tribe. It's, um, yeah, someone said a rising tide raises all ships, you know. Um, that's kind of the, been the theme of even a lot of our networks and a lot of the things we're doing. For instance, you know, you know, has, you know, a ministry reaching some of the, you know, Christian courses for some of the top Christian speakers and course creators and Andrew Whalen, you know, we just helped to launch a prophetic school. Um, Hamid, you know, one of the most amazing production companies, uh, Minnesota doing amazing productions. And we're all able to say, Hey, you know, what are some things we can work on together and collaborate? And I think in the film world, I mean, that's what has to happen. You got, you know, these people like Spielberg or like, eventually they're like, you know, maybe not Tarantino and Spielberg, but you got, uh, you know, a director had to say, okay, we like, this is a new style. We need to check out these actors. We need to check out this, you know, style of, you know, what they're doing for whether it's an action film or fantasy It's like, there's always new things and new flows and new flavors that you got to end up testing out and be like, man, this is what's kind of working now. So let's, let's, um, you know, partner with some of these streams to see like, how can we bring different flavors for web three and NFTs? It was so new a year ago that no one was bringing, you know, one high, you know, high quality, bring in a project that went to become high quality production and film. And nobody was bringing like the prophetic or just, you know, this culture of 
you know, speaking, speaking prophetically into um, a community, you know, nobody was doing that. And it was just such a new like thing that it, there was just some anointing on it because God really, he wanted that for people that loved art. They loved learning about Web3. Um, so Hamid, we're going to bring up Hamid in a moment. I want to, you guys to hear about, um, you know, maybe before or after um, Hamid talks, I want you guys to see um, some of the some of the narration from uh, John Reese Davies from uh, Lord of, who played Gimli from Lord of the Rings. Um, that's you know signed on, and you know Hamid and Doctor Mark and you know our whole film you know partnership and crew have just like poured in poured in so much, bringing in so many amazing cast crew and just you know talking to um, just. Um, yeah, talking to the, even yeah the agents to even bring on these high level people in the film, and the fact that Hamid's script for this story um, ended up even uh, coming yeah even like getting to the hands of them, and they're like wow like they're Lord of the Rings actors like wow this story is amazing what you guys are creating and script writing and storytelling this is beautiful this is big like now they're excited about bringing this story to Comic Con and the, potentially and different stuff so I mean just. The level of bringing in, you know, high level people like Hamid, Dr. Mark, some of our, you know, film crew is just like, um, yeah, is this a testament? Um, so actually, yeah, Hamid, I would love for you just to share and then um, we'll go to Andrew. Um, and then I want to, Hamid, do you want me to play before you talk? Do you want me to play the um, the the uh, Legends narration? Oh, you're muted, Hamid. I said, you're the boss. You do what you need to do, buddy. Whatever you want, I'm, I'm down for. Okay, so we'll, let's just, you, you, let us know in the comments, you guys. Put in uh, Lord of the Rings, Legends, if you guys want to see a sneak peek, a taste and see of the amazing uh, narration and just a sneak. We don't have an official trailer yet. We're still working. It's in post-production. But put Lord of the Rings in the comments if you want to hear some of this Legends. Um, little sneak peek at narration. We haven't. Uh, we haven't shared it too much and we're, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's amazing, but I want, I can't wait for you guys to hear that and hear a little bit more from, um, you know, Hamid and Dr. Mark about the film side and, um, some of the stuff that's happening. Come on. Do we got some Lord of the Rings fans put in sneak peek? If you guys want us to release some of this, let's go. Where are you guys at? Do we got any Lord of the Rings fans out there? All right, awesome. All right, well let's let's um play a little sneak peek of this. Um, that is not our music, I, I promise. <laughs> oh no, that's not the music. That was uh my soundboard giving you some opening opening uh fun stuff. All right, here we go. Oh, please. All right. In ages past, the land of Aladria was prosperous and bountiful. It was a time of peace. One man's heart gave way to darkness and changed the course of Aladria, creating the world as now it is. After 100 years of war, Eladria was finally overcome by the Dark One. Against the few remaining servants of the Evelyn, Lord Driston has sent his fiercest warriors to exterminate those who resist and would dare to stand against him. In this land, warriors use an amplifier of strength, agility, and healing made from the Inquada stones found deep within the mines of Eledria. Once harvested, Inquada allows those who consume it 
to push themselves beyond their natural limits. And for that, they must pay a terrible price. As Naldo's life seeped from his body, his death created a spark. A spark that would carry through the forests and hills. The sequence of events was set in motion. Come on, you guys. You guys just got a little boom, a little taste. And Hamid, just talk about that real quick. Like even that that wasn't even that wasn't even as good as the quality of the actual when it's actually going to hear they're going to hear it. Yeah, that's just his like normal scratch audio with some music over a fire. <laughs> you know, and that's the, just how like, good he did it even then or even with that. I mean, I, when he opened his mouth, I literally got like teary. I'm like, how is this even possible? Like as a fantasy fan, as a Lord of the Rings fan, as Indiana Jones fan, um, being Middle Eastern, seeing that, you know, he played a Middle Eastern or like he was probably the first good Middle Eastern back in the day. Like, no one was getting blown up and there was no, you know, he wasn't a terrorist. Like he was helpful and intelligent and fun and funny. And so being able to work with him was just like, how is this even possible? You know, I mean, like what favor we had to get him and, you know, again, he didn't be in a project at all. He's like, I love it. I'm in. And then to offer to help us. I mean, the audio is a little, the audio is kind of scratching up a little bit. Is that better? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I don't know why it's just like kind of scratchy. Yeah, my phone's being weird. I don't know. Hold on, I mute it. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's just like it's just scratchy and like the, whatever. Doctor Mark, do you wanna do you wanna share for Hamid on the a little bit like uh on the film side a little bit of um man what you're excited about just on the film side and just even if you guys don't know Doctor Mark, Doctor Mark was one of our first. I mean, he was. Before we ever knew we were, I mean, we, we kind of declared it that we were going to do, bring our story into film. And that was a kind of a part of our, it was actually part of our longer vision, not even in the short term. And then, you know, by Dr. Mark being one of the first kingdom generals to own 10 NFTs in our um, network, then, um, and then we just would talk about the story. So we basically just had this lore, which was basically this simple kind of like, you know, look at, think of like Star Wars when Star Wars first started, it's like, dun, dun, and it has that like story. We had like just a paragraph and like we had concept art and we just started with all this like, you know, just this foundations. And then um, and then, yeah, Dr. Mark believed in just the vision of just I mean, not only the film side, but just everything with Kingdom Warriors. So, Dr. Mark, anything you want to add on some of that? Oh, you're muted, Dr. Mark. It's a microphone day. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So thanks for having me on, Eric. Um, you know, oh, he's back. Go ahead, Mark. You talk. Yeah. So what really got me interested in in all of this, Eric, is you and I have been talking about films and different things and projects you'd done. And when I reached out and touched base with you, that was when things were just starting to kick off before any of this. And there was something about the rate of the growth that I just felt like. Uh, God was in it. So I didn't even really plan to be a big part of it, but I, I joined you at the beginning and you wanted me to talk a little bit about quantum mechanics and I could just sense something big was happening. And when you opened up the NFTs, it just seemed to me that sometimes uh, somebody has to be first. Then something big was happening and stereo Mark. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, that just seemed to be the right thing to do at the right time. It wasn't like it was uh, money to throw away or anything. And then you wanted to move forward. And I knew that the best person to get involved would be uh, Hamid. And I asked him a couple of times. He didn't, you know, just wasn't the right time. And then I asked him again. And he said, yeah, you know, maybe I should write a script for that. And so I was stunned because uh, those of you, you know, Hamid won't say it, but you know, he writes, you know, he's 
getting pretty big in, in the Hollywood arena. So I waited a couple of days before I told you, Eric, because I wanted to make sure that he really uh, heard what I had said. And he said, yeah. And so when he got involved, uh, again, it was just one of those things where it was just anointed somehow. You know, it's, um, I mean, it started in July. I forget, Hamid knows the date. And within a few months, we had shot four, you know, four-part series. And it's going to be done here shortly. And that's unheard of also in this industry. He's got interest, you know, Hamid can tell you about who's interested. There's a number of studios interested. Um, and, you know, you did it. You know, it took a team and, and you got it done. And it's because you held on to your dream. So I know this is a lot about dreams for people. You know, sometimes you just have to hold on. I, I just got notified yesterday, uh, my very first film I did, which really um, is nothing compared to what Hamid's created here or the films Hamid and I have created together. Turns out it's number seven on Pure Flix. So interesting. Hey, Mark. Congratulations. Yeah. Well, I'm a lot more excited for this one, let me tell you. <laughs> Is that Cover Me, Dr. Mark? Yeah. yeah. You, you guys, check movie, out though. Cover Me. Check that out on Pure Flix, you guys. Cover Me, and then check out Dr. Mark's book, Cover Me, who had Danny Trejo actually starring in um, the film Cover Me, and it, it, which was what I, when I, Dr. Mark told me about that, I was like, I'm Hispanic, so I like, Danny Trejo is like the, you know, machete, and he was in Spy Kids, and, you know, like, I don't know, Hispanic actors, like, I, I'm not all, the person that's like, oh, you have to put Hispanic people in everything type thing, but I'm just like, when I see someone that's Hispanic doing cool stuff in, like, Hollywood, I'm like, dude, come on, like, that's amazing. So I, anyways, uh, yeah, check out Cover Me for sure. All right, Hamid, do you want, um, can you share, Hamid, just on the quality of just, in what happened from the script to the cast to the crew, just for um, briefly, I know we don't have too much uh, time, but just yeah. briefly... And you guys come in VIP if you want to, um, you know, hear more. But there's this, yeah, there's, and we also, we do have, if you type in on Legends of Eladria, Kingdom Warriors, there's like a, a long uh, YouTube video with Dr. Mark Hamid and just um, d talking more about the, you know, for an hour and a half about just everything that's kind of, if you want to hear the long part of it. Yeah. Uh, so what, what do you want to focus on most then, Eric? What's the best? Um, just for, just for the, you know, just the, the quality of Legends of Elijah, what you're excited for and just, um, and then, yeah, wise people should even, you know, consider being a part of this, you know, community of Kingdom yeah. Wars and just, um, okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, to me, you know, the first thing that caught my eye was, you know, Eric's vision. You know, I think that, you know, it's hard to get behind someone who has no vision and, you know, um, I'm very, I, I've learned the hard way to be very cautious about that. And so having, you know, spent time with Eric, spent time with Mark, um, you know, I, Eric shared his vision and I read, I read part of the book and I saw some of the, the stuff that was created. And I was like, wow, this is actually pretty awesome. And, you know, I said, all right, God, I actually said, no, I, I know you guys heard the story before. I said no a few times. And I felt like God finally said, honey, you should do this. And from that point on, it was like, it was, it was super anointed, like, you know, um, Talked about it in May, signed a contract in June, filmed it in August and September, and now we're in January, and it's just about done. And uh, it's crazy. And then also to write a script that fast is that good. Typically, scripts take six months to a year to write that are, you know, able to get an A-list talent attached. And so when we, get, we got John Rice Davies attached to it, and what? We wrote the script in July. He was attached in August. I mean, within one month. We wrote the script. A month later, he was attached. And so I think it's a testament to, like you guys said, you know, find your dream, you know, um, I, I read a really amazing book. It's called Who Not How. And a lot of times we need who's in our life to help us do the hows. And I think that one thing that Eric has done so well is that he has found who's in his life to do the hows. Eric does not know how to make a movie by himself. So he found people who didn't know how, right? Vice versa, I don't know how to build a community like Eric can. So he was my who. Uh, who knew how. And so I think when you marry all these people who have these their unique individual gifts, um, it helps the dreams come true faster. You know, I think it kind of goes to say the whole, you know, go single, go with a group, you know. And so I feel like the group that was all aligned in the right season, the bus at the right time, 
made magic happen because that magic doesn't happen very often. Making movies is hard. It takes a long time. And so um, while you're following your dreams and trying to find your dreams and manifest your dreams, I just would encourage people to, you know, go along and find people who can help you get there um, and uh, utilize their gifts as well. When you combine, it's powerful. That's so amazing. And you guys, for those who don't know, you know, Hamid, you have two films with Lionsgate. Uh, you've worked with uh, Under the Stadium Lights, worked with my my favorite Morpheus from the Matrix, worked with Lawrence Fishburne, brought him to Minnesota, got him in the community in Minnesota. You yep. really put Minnesota on the map in production and like and doing amazing stuff out there and even the small town. You know, we were out there with you guys, with your family and just the, the even the atmosphere you cultivate for the cast and crew and letting people at your house and eating dinner and lunch and just building like a fun, you know, you have your cats there, you know, you're, it's just a fun, you know, just a fun environment. And, and, um, you know, it's, it's just awesome. It was awesome to see it. Like I never seen been on the, they were on the set for like 18 days out there, you guys. And, um, I've never, I was on set for like maybe, you know, five days or something, but they work so hard. Um, I mean, just, you know, talking about just having two films with Lionsgate and one with Universal, can you even give some, um, you know, just give some tips on over the past 10 years, like your top tips for how, do, how did you even get to that point to have films with major production companies? Most people are just like, how do I even write my first script? But right. I, I love to hear the top tips on how you even got to that point. Well, I think the first things first is that it has to be, you know, if you want to be in the movie business, it has to be a God thing, right? I mean, if you want to make money, you can make money. I can sell cars and make more money than I would make in the movies to start, right? I mean... You have to, there's a lot of free work, a lot of dirt you have to eat, um, you know, and it's hard. I mean, you know, most people in Hollywood, it's not about how good you are. It's about can you, can you last, right? Can you, can you go one more round? Can you wait one more week? You know, there's times where, you know, we were homeless and, you know, um, we filmed the movie, uh, our zombie movie, and literally uh, the distributor went out of business. So Universal picked it up, but then the, the middle distributor went out of business. So I didn't get paid on that. My sales agent stole our money. Um, it was pirated <laughs> three million times. And meanwhile, my family and I are homeless, you know? So people are stealing my movie for 99 cents when, <laughs> when I'm not homeless. And so it was, it was rough. We filmed Under Stadium Lights uh, when we were at my friend's house. My friend, um, my friend had a rental and uh, he's like, hey, you know, we're fixing up so you can stay here when you, if you want, as long as you need to. And it was pretty awesome that he let us do that. But, you know, Lawrence Fishburne is in town in a you know two hundred fifty thousand dollar trailer, and my family's homeless. We're eating guacamole out of cups because we don't because the kitchen doesn't work, and um, <laughs> you know we're down to one car because we can't afford. You know we had no money. You know it's crazy, and so um, you know you have to know that it's your calling. You know find your calling, find your purpose because you have your purpose. And you know what you're supposed to do. It makes it a lot easier, right? You know that the hardships come. You go, you're training. You're going, you know, pound for pound, round for round, right? Um, if it's not your calling, then it's like, well, wait a second. Why are you going through the hard work? So, you know, first and foremost, you just got to make sure that it's a God calling. Uh, when God has told you you're supposed to do it, then it's, again, just perfecting your craft, being deliberate, um, Taking the time, like Eric said, I think he said earlier, you know, spend an hour a day watching YouTube videos about what you, you know, what you want to learn, right? You know, it's out there. I mean, I didn't go to school. You know, I read books. I took, you know, I went to uh, line classes, like you said. I did all the the homework to get good at it, and I just worked at it for ten years. And when it finally clicked, it's like, oh, it was like overnight it clicked. But like, it was ten years of preparation to get there. So, you know. Um, just have to stick with it. I was uh, talking to one of our actors for an upcoming movie, and. You know, he said he said the best. He goes, literally, I had people come out and they try their dream for a year or two or three and they quit. And he's like, literally, you have to, you, it takes more than a year or two or three to make a dream come true. You know, Eric, I'm sure your dream took a long time to get to this point. You know, you love movies and wanted to make movies for, you know, a few years prior to when I even met you, you know. So, got to stick with it, stick with it, stick with it and be prepared, right? Just because you're not making movies today or writing a book today or, you know, running a marathon today, you can still be training for that, right? If you're a writer, a writer writes. If you're a, if you're a, a runner, runners run. If you're a music maker, music makers make music, right? And it can be terrible. You know, I mean, I write things and it's terrible. I mean, I, I, I get paid to write things and I still write things that are terrible, but I do it anyways because you have to, to do the muscles. So um, roundabout way is 
number one, make sure it's God's calling. Two, be prepared. You know, you be prepared for when you get called up, right? You have to be, you know, researching, studying, preparing, growing. So when you get the chance to, to take your shot, you can do it. You know, I mean, if I had been prepared when Mark sent me the the the, the, this, the manuscript for the novel, you know, I wouldn't have been able to write a script in a month that got John Rhys Davies. I had to be prepared for 20 years. It was 20 years of making in the making. So when I sat down to write the script, we got an A-list actor attached, you know, and I think that's what, you know, we all kind of need to be focusing on is being prepared because you never know when that day comes, you know, I don't know Mark was going to call me, <laughs> you know, and Mark called me and then here we are, you know, six months later, you know, we filmed with an amazing actor. We got to make an amazing story. You know, it's, it's going to be awesome. So, yeah. Come on. You, that's a line you guys put in the comments. You know, sometimes it takes 10 years, 20 years to be an overnight success or to be prepared for the call when you get on the audition and you're auditioning for Spielberg and they're like, oh, you're going to be the next Luke Skywalker. I don't know. But, you know, you got to be ready. You know, you got to get the reps in. So when you're ready to take the risk to get the shot, you know, you're going to shoot, you shoot your shot and you're not going to be just, you know, stumbling all over the place because you're you already stumbled all over the place for 10 years. You stumbled all over the place forward for 20 years. And then when you're ready to shoot your shot, you're like, you're stumbling like this, boom, 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 like Mike Tyson knocking it out and then boom, hit a home run. If you if you swing it bad enough, you're going to eventually hit something. So Andrew Whalen, we'd love to um, um, have you share prophetically on what you're seeing for Kingdom Warriors and just the arts and entertainment briefly. And then um, we'll get to Kathy and Jacqueline. Um, some amazing stories. Jacqueline from New Zealand, Kathy in Washington, and just uh, amazing tribe of people coming together for a, a common cause, a mission. One, you know, all of our purpose is the same. We're all here to advance the kingdom. But how are you going to do that? Are you going to do it at Walmart, Wall Street, wherever you go, you have the power to advance the kingdom, whether it's writing, whether it's music, whether it's creative or even and no matter what, you can be creative. You can be creative in your marketing plan for your your um, company. You could be helping a company that sells soap and you could be creative on how you message the soap, you know, how you message the marketing of the soap. Um, how you, you know, come up with, we should have better ingredients for a soap. You know, it shouldn't be as many chemicals. Maybe it should be organic. Like you have the power to bring, um, you know, solutions to wherever you're at. Andrew, go ahead. Uh, been with us for um, uh, pretty much a year now. And, um, you know, has worked with Lou Engel and many, you know, world leaders um, in the kingdom faith space, travels the country, um, you know, prophetically speaking and preaching at places and, even providing divine solutions for um, spiritually taking territory um, in the places you're at. So, Andrew, love for you to share. And, um, yeah, it's an honor to have you, brother. Yeah, thanks, Eric. And, man, everything's been so great today. Love hearing this. Um, I really agree with everything that everyone's shared so far. And, you know, one of the things I think is really important is what's already been said is coming into a community of dreamers. And, you know, um, I have a friend that I talk with and he, he goes into detail about uh, what's called thinking wavelengths. And he said, you know, you got to be with people who are at, you know, at a high thinking wavelength, meaning if you're if you're the way you think limits you from achieving the dreams that God has for your life. You're never going to see those things fulfilled. That's why God put us in a family. He put us in a body. He put us in community for a reason. Uh, because we're called to provoke one another onto love and good deeds. We need each other to inspire one another to, uh, you know, champion each other on. And I can tell you, I would have quit a long time ago, um, maybe a thousand times, <laughs> had it not been for my wife, you know, uh, other voices and leaders and people in my life. And, um, and so I think that's a huge component. And I think that's amazing that uh, what you're doing, Eric, and what Kingdom Warriors provides, you're providing a community that is not thinking, uh, let's just survive and hide. Let's, you're thinking offensively. You're, you are thinking, God has a dream for my life. He has a dream for my nation. He has a dream for the mountains of influence to bring the kingdom of God into these places. And you're saying in this community, you're saying we're going to do our part and we're going to champion other people to join with us. And out of it is going to come 
you know, uh, a birthing, so to speak, of so many other creative dreams. And this is another thing we need to understand is that God himself is a dreamer. He's an imaginative creator. And we need to understand that when we are worshiping uh, God and we're, when we say we serve the creator, we are also saying that we serve one who is endlessly creative and imaginative. He is a dreamer. And, you know, when he comes and uh, when we're born again by his spirit, guess what he puts in us? He puts in us the ability, the grace, the power to dream the dreams of God. And so uh, I believe that we do a great disservice to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, to what he went to the cross to do for us. He didn't just go to the cross to get us into heaven. He went to the cross and uh, and was, you know, buried and raised again to new life not to just get us into an eternal home, but to get the eternal life and the dreams of God alive in us again. And he's got great purpose for us. He's got great vision for us. And, you know, too many times we quit when the going gets tough. And this is what I want to say is that dreams, you need to, you need to just uh, tuck this away in your heart right now. I mean, literally like write this down and say, understand this dreams do not come or are not fulfilled without great opposition great challenge great delay and they require great patience great effort and incredible grace now here's the amazing thing about god he'll give you a vision he'll give you a big dream that that he makes it impossible for you to yourself to fulfill and that's what i believe that god is he wants us to begin to lay hold of these kinds of dreams again, where we are saying, God, it's going to require you to fulfill this. Only you could do this. I don't have the ability, but you're going to connect me with the right people. You're going to connect me with the right places. Uh, you know, um, it's not about the how, it's going to be the who, as our brother said earlier. And so you need to be encouraged along the way that uh, make room for the valleys, make room for the pits, make room for the setbacks, make room for the resistance. That doesn't mean you just expect negative all the time. But if you don't make an allowance for it in the fulfillment of your dream, you will get taken out by disappointment and disillusionment. And God's saying, I need you to be a people of greater resilience and greater resolve that you would understand Christ would not have come into the fulfillment of my dream had he not embraced the cross. But the Bible says it was the joy set before Jesus. He endured that cross. Could you imagine you know, uh, Joseph, the dreamer, you, could you imagine, you know, his early dream of seeing him in a place of authority and leadership and prominence, his parents and his brothers are all bowing down to him. If God had shown him in that place, what he would have had to have gone through to see that thing fulfilled, I think he might've quit from the start, but God had to develop a resolve in him to say, just keep going, keep going. I am committed to your dream even when you are not listen to this some of you need to hear this god is committed to your dream even when some of you are not he's saying i am fighting over your dreams i'm fighting over the dream i have for your life i'm watching over my words to perform them in your life and so you need to understand this you might feel like oh man that dream is dead and gone long ago and god's saying no you just haven't seen the big picture i want your agreement I want your yes again to say, Lord, do this somehow, some way. Watch as God begins to suddenly bring things back into picture. He suddenly brings the next puzzle piece that connects the dots for you. And so, um, you know, there's another thing that's important to know. That the Bible says that all the days of our lives were written down before one of them ever came to be. God has written a beautiful story over our lives. He has written an incredible, uh, it's a dream manuscript. It's a dream storyline of God for each of our lives. And the beautiful journey of life is that we have the uh, ability and the potential to enter into those God dreams. I do believe that many people fall short of fully 
walking those God dreams out because they don't recognize that there is a written scroll of beautiful destiny, of a beautiful purpose over every person's life. And, um, you know, I have a, a spiritual father that says, uh, he says, God does not tie our hearts or he doesn't bind our hearts or attach our hearts to dead end dreams. If God gives you a dream, if it's a God dream, he doesn't attach your heart to it only to disappoint you in it, only to uh, give you a disappointing blow. He really has in his mind, his full will and heart behind it is that you would see the fulfillment of the dreams he gives you. Now, in saying that, one of the ways, and this is the last thing I'll say, one of the ways that I believe is a very practical way of seeing dreams fulfilled is by partnering with God in seeing or discovering the scroll over your life. It's again, it goes back to that scripture in Psalms that all the days of your life were written down before one of them came to be. I believe that even dreams in the night are a part of the discovery of seeing your scroll. When you get a dream in the night, I believe sometimes these dreams in the night are like seeing chapters of your scroll. I believe sometimes when you get a, you know, a deep inward dream and vision, it's like God saying, what you're actually getting to see here, that dream, that desire, that vision that you just, that just inspired you, that's a chapter of your scroll. You're getting to, you're beginning to tap in to that ancient eternal book of your destiny that was written before time began. And so this is the beautiful thing about God, the dreamer. He's already written a beautiful storyline and he's a good author. He's a, he's an author and a, for, a finisher and a perfecter. Now, the last thing I'll say is this. I had a dream, literal, a dream in the night. And in the dream, I came to a couple prophets and I asked these prophets. They were, uh, it was a man named uh, Bobby Connor and then another man named Paul Keith Davis and Lou Engle. Uh, I came to these three prophets and in the dream, I asked them, I said, how did the prophet Bob Jones walk in such a high level of prophetic anointing of prophetic fulfillment of, you know, seeing so much of the uh, eternal dream realm come and manifest in the earth. How did he walk in this dimension? And these prophets, I, I don't remember which one, but one of them responded and said, the key for him to um, walk out in that highest level uh, fulfillment of the prophetic and his destiny was that he received it from his scroll. And I knew in that dream what God was saying. He was saying, if you just find out what's in your scroll, it's already what has been shared here today. If you discover what's the big dream is, what the purpose is, then you don't have to go waste your life trying to uh, look for every little thing. You can just stay honed in that God has a dominating prophecy over your life. There's a dominating dream. You may not know the full picture of it. You may not know how it's all going to come forth, but there's something deep within. He's saying, hey, this is what I've created you for. This is the lane or the uh, the target I want you to aim for and just keep going after it. Keep staying on it. Keep holding tight. And watch as I construct, I order, I, I weave your life, your journey, the good, the bad, the ugly into a beautiful storyline that fulfills that very dream. So um, that's what I wanted to share. You know, uh, you know, Eric, you guys are doing a great job. Like I said, with Kingdom Warriors, you're doing so many things uh, that I believe people have an opportunity to invest in. Um, that is actually going to help them fulfill their dreams. And then in addition, you've provided an incredible community that is, it's literally championing people into it. And I just want to brag on you, Eric, you know, you have, I've been so challenged to do what God put in my heart. And I don't, I don't know if I would have done it had you not said, Hey, you have permission, bro, go after it, do this thing. And we're for you. We're championing you in this. And so I just want to say thank you to you and, you know, the others here in the community and the team, it's incredible. And so I'm, you know, I just hope this helps. I hope it makes sense. Hope you guys are blessed by it. Come on, you guys. This is, this is, thank you. But we've, we, um, every week you guys being a holder, 
even of one, you know, Do- Dr. Joseph said, if you care what, you at least need to buy one. You, you like today is the day to take action. You know, this week, take action, become a kingdom warrior. One, you already are a kingdom warrior in the spirit. Become an actual, you know, asset owner of a kingdom warrior. Um, and, you know, training with Andrew, if you like the fire you just got today, you get training with Andrew once a week. We have uh, kingdom warriors prophetic Thursday at one central um, every week. Um, for an hour on on Zoom backstage with Andrew Whalen, like that's a thousand dollar you know p- a year package that you get just for owning a two hundred twenty two dollar NFT, um, and that's just that's like um, that and it's in and of itself we didn't give any other value from all the other you know resources you know we'll show you here pretty soon on what also you get um, for being a part of Kingdom Warriors and this this community this tribe um, that that one is just one of the I think one of the pinnacles of where people are we're we're getting in a heaven culture to where people are hearing from god for their dreams they are getting igniting in their scrolls because ultimately if you partner in the prophetic god has already written this god is the best script writer in the world he's already written you know a blueprint and a plan our job is to stay focused and look forward and continue looking forward and stay focused on our race it's like this um there's a there's a film the pilgrim's progress which is interesting the film the animated film the pilgrim's progress the guy just had to stay straight you know greed lust all the stuff comes after him as he's on this hero's journey and there's opposition on the way and all these like distractions on the way but he had to just stay you know stay focused and what's funny uh john reese on our uh narrating our film he actually narrated um the character called the evangelist in that in that film and i only found that out after he uh after he you know signed on with us and i was like god you're just prophetic you're like super prophetic this whole journey that you're taking us on um so anyways shout out to andrew um i want to have um kathy and jacqueline um share um on um on just what it's been like in this community kathy would love for you to share prophetically what you're hearing for today and then two just uh, yeah, anything you have for words of encouragement for uh, warriors and new warriors, you know, considering being a kingdom warrior with us. Okay. Well, thanks, Eric. Thank you, Andrew. That just that just fired me up. That was so good, Andrew. Um, so I, I initially, I just joined out of purely obedience to the Lord. He said, join this community. And I, I didn't know anything about it. It was before... Um, it was. I think it was just even before the script was even written for the movie. But I was so excited that I was being obedient to the Lord, and and then the doors that just kept opening up and opening up. Um, this community, Eric, just gives and gives and gives and gives. And and I have to just share really quick. I there's I, I've I've noticed now that the challenges are kind of like a platform that people are using. So I joined a couple, and uh, the Lord is so good. He always all all my life. It's like. I get I get the really good one first, and that was Kingdom Warriors, and it gave me a plumb line <laughs> that I kind of started comparing all of the other ones to, and 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 I'm going to give you a, a little a little tip here that I've picked up so far. Look at the look at the person's heart <clears throat> that's that's doing this challenge in in Kingdom Warriors and with Eric's heart, they, he's a giver, you know we're buying actually an NFT, which is an investment. It could be like buying a stock, which I would put more faith in an NFT right now than I would in in our stock market. So that being said, but anyway, we're getting that. It's something, we own it, we have it. That's where our money went. But then he just keeps giving and giving and giving. There's so much utility that that is attached to it. I mean, I mean, I even got stuff, you know, I got stuff. So then compared to some of these other ones I joined, so they get you in there and then and then I have to laugh. It's just take. They want to take, 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 take. So first thing, kingdom, kingdom principle. It's all in giving. It's the giving and the giving and the giving. And you can't outgive God because he will always give it back. Um, and just I think on today's on today's focus is just on dreams. And yeah, everything Andrew said, everything Dr. Peck and, and, and Hamid, it's all so inspiring and it's all so true. Um, I have always wanted to find kind of the faster way, kind of like that, that moving sidewalk at the, at the airport. You know, you could walk along, you know, or you could get there by walking faster on that, on that moving sidewalk. So I think a couple of the keys that the Lord has just given me is, uh, 
number one is is as you're pursuing these dreams and you know it's god god's going to keep developing your character as he's helping you fulfill his dream and your dream so it's your motive it's your motives in your heart and i think the key word is is a purity in your motive um what what love are you releasing into the kingdom what are you giving again it comes back to that giving what is your motive and um you know, we're humans. There's always going to be an element there initially, you know, a little bit. Of, it's going to provide. It's going to pay my bills. There's, you know, there's a need. We have a need, but God's going to fulfill your needs. And that just comes back to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of its righteousness. And he's going to provide all of these things to us. Um, and my freshest word, I, I kind of just got this morning. Um, I don't know. I can be an overthinker. On some stuff and there's a whole there's a whole thing paralysis of analysis but God just said close the door on trying to always reason things out um, and that's just the process that where we we just re, we form conclusions we can we can form judgments um, we can I even argue with God sometimes but um but he's saying close that door and and leave it shut and trust me and and when we do that, that's where the super, he brings the super into our natural. And that's what I, I, I'm, I'm going for that. I want the super in my natural and he'll bring that extra into our ordinary. And, and then pretty soon, um, all these things. Um, did I just freeze up? Oh, freeze for a second. We got it you back. It's been doing that on me. So anyway, I'm just going to close with, um, you know, just just, just let those dreams, just let, let the Lord just let the dream just soak into your spirit. And, and then someone said earlier, we have the mind of Christ. And that's just, you know, Isaiah 55. My thoughts are not your thoughts and um, his ways are not our ways, but his ways are just so, it's so much higher, so much higher. And so I guess I would just leave with just encouraging everyone to just trust in the Lord with all your heart and just don't lean on your own understanding. And, um, and that's where I find my peace. And I just, I champion this community. There is nothing like it that I have found um, in the marketplace and what it's doing and taking territory for the kingdom. And one last thing I got to just say is, uh, you know, when it's hard, when it does get hard, when it seems harder, take it as an encouragement because um, the bigger your God dream, sometimes the more opposition you're going to have. And that's just making us stronger. It's going to make you stronger. And um, that strength is, is again, what's just developing the character inside of us. But you're taking territory. You're, and, when you're, and when you're taking darker territory, it's hard. And so that's good. And you're a pioneer. And, and you're taking territory. So I would just, um, just I just wanna encourage everyone, um, seek the Lord, don't try to figure it out and just trust him. Come on, you guys, give it up for Kathy. That was amazing. Um, awesome, we have uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline is from New Zealand. And Jacqueline, you've been you know hearing prophetically just of some of the stuff on even like the apostolic and what God's doing um and just this this community i would love for your take on what you see happening and for people you know mobilizing and some of the things god has shown you um that's been really coming forth i guess for me um and the word that god has given me this morning is isaiah 40 um verse 3 the voice of one crying in the wilderness prepare the way of the lord make straight in the desert a highway for our god and um it's i've been about walking in the prophetic for about 34 years but recently the lord said it's time for apostolic advancement it's time to step in to the big god dreams and um sometimes those dreams are overwhelming sometimes those dreams are like how why would you choose me for this Lord, it's like way bigger than me. But um, just like the Joseph, this is the time 
where God wants to position his people for um, governance and wealth transfer out of the hands of the wicked into the hands of the righteous. So some of us, like myself, have to learn some whole new, a whole new skill set, um, have to learn about um, technology, have to learn about the um, metaverse. Uh, I call it megaverse and um, have to learn about crypto because we have to position ourselves um, to step into that slipstream um, of where God is um, birthing dreams for this hour. So uh, I really want to encourage you. I thank, you. I thank the Lord that he brought me into Kingdom Warriors. And um, here is a community of um, such a supportive community uh, where literally you're given wings to fly. You know, you're, um, they're empowering you with every speaker that comes on to this platform. And um, you can, what I felt at ease first was the heart of the leader begins uh, to come forth. And um, like Kathy said, uh, the ge generosity, um, how they want to, um, how Eric and them want to add value to your life. Like there's so much value. And in, in fact, it's just the benefits are overflowing uh, when you join in this community. So when I first come on, I left um, a salary and wage um, working in a, uh, as an administrator in a um, Christian school. I lost my job at the start of the year. My husband lost his job. Um, and that due to uh, mandates, provisions and that. And um, so we had to um, live for a time on his superannuation. Um, and at that time, um, it, it has been a walk of faith coming into Kingdom Warriors. So I thought to myself, well, Lord, what do you want me to do? Because I don't really have much. Um, and, he, and I thought I'll probably buy one NFT. And um, so the Lord said, I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? And he goes, I want you to join as a general. And he says, I want you to get a captain's package. So I really had to seek my husband as to what to do because he says, I want you to step into the area of governance and um, step in um, and remain there. But um, he says, I'll bless you down the track. So um, it is such a joy to be a part of this community. And um, I want to encourage you all out there, um, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord as to what he'll have you do. What's in your hand? What's in your hand in regards to stepping into this community? What do you bring um, into this community? Uh, we encourage one another here in this community. So, um, yeah, go after the big God dreams. Um, I literally had an encounter with an Egyptian man beside my bed one morning um, in the spirit. And I says, Wow, do you, uh, who are you? Uh, do you come in the name of Yeshua? He says, I come in the name of Yeshua. I says, well, who are you and what are you here for? He says, my name is Joseph and I've come to release governance and wealth transfer. And then he was gone. So the Lord is raising up. Um, we're in a, a time, a reprieve of time where he is pouring out um, his provision, but it's provision for the kingdom of God. Um, expansion upon the earth. It's for gardens of grace and forests of favor. It's for um, raising up tiny home sustainable communities. It's, it's for um, tent and um, major um, stadium uh, crusades. It's for um, holy um, habitations, glory habitations. It's for a mighty move of the spirit like a fire fueled by a hurricane that will sweep through the nations of the earth. And this is a platform in which God wants to launch you into your big God dreams and step and be part of all that um, kingdom expansion upon the earth. So bless you, everyone, and go for it. Go for your big God dreams, but also step in to this amazing community. Bless you all. Come on, gardens of grace, forest of favor. Man, come on, we need more of that. Stadium intense. We got Henry. Henry is one of our kingdom generals. Um, he had a dream. He was at California Stadium or the stadium in LA. Um, I think it was crypto.com or one of them. But anyways, um, and he got revelation of just some of the stadium uh, stuff that we're going to be doing in the future. Um, and just... And yeah, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I have my um, wife. I would love for you to share, babe. Um, 
got my lovely wife we, nine years this september will be 10 years love for you to share on um what what you're excited about and um yeah it's um i'm gonna let uh let you go ahead and take it away and i'm gonna grab hi guys um so it's interesting i didn't know what the topic was for today and i was doing the dishes this morning and i thought i could i could hear that i'm going to be talking on eric's thing today and um i kind of just passed it you know but then eric came in he's like hey i would really like you to share today <laughs> which you know that's how god works so i was like okay that's why i could feel that i was supposed to get on here so um what's interesting is god kept bringing up the dreams that he gave me even before i knew who he was um when i was about eight years old i grew up in like a lot of domestic violence and there was this family in the apartment complex from brazil who really loved on me as if i was their own and they were like that safe place where i could see how a true family was supposed to operate and you know, no yelling, screaming, hitting. And um, I remember encountering their family. All the Brazilian family came and they were so loving, like hugging and very affectionate. And I thought to myself, I want to go to Brazil. I just want to experience the people there. And um, lo and behold, after I got saved and I was going to this prophetic church, there was an apostle there that came to me and he said, you're going to go to Brazil. I can see it all over you. And I just like was slain in the spirit because it just made sense that God was speaking to me way before I knew him. And the reason I say that is because I wanted to build on the dreams that he's given you since you were a child, because it says you have to become like a kid in order to enter the kingdom and to be about the things of the kingdom. And before I knew Eric, I was in Bible college and there was this this girl that did prophetic paintings. And I, I asked her, can you paint me something in my Bible? And um, I gave her my Bible. She said, sure, let me just ask God what, what he wants me to paint. So she had painted this flower, right? With the sun melting down on it. And she said, you're the flower and God wants you to know you're not dying. You're just being soaked in his presence. And um, so I kept that. And then three years later, God tells me to look up my name. And I said, well, I know what my name means. And he said, no, you need to look it up. What is it? So I looked it up and I found out that it's a flower. And this is the Felicia um, amyloid flower. It looks exactly like the painting that that girl painted for me. And she had no computer or anything. She just painted what she saw. Now, this is important because this flower is native to South Africa. And when I met Eric, his dad's from Johannesburg, South Africa. And that was years after this had happened. And I knew I wanted to go to South Africa and just design homes and places of refuge for children, the street kids. I was sitting under Heidi Baker for a long time and just inspired by what she did out there. And I just felt a draw to Africa. I don't know why. And I, I just always had it. And so I, I share that because I feel like so many people don't put the connections with what they've carried as children, like these desires they had and even dreams they carried or things that stuck out to them in, in kid movies or um, books or whatever. And those things are like target points that God has placed for you to discover what he always destined you to do. And, you know, finding out that he already knew everything about me before my mom even named me, you know, she got my name off of a soap opera. I think it was General Hospital or something. <laughs> and then this name, you know, ends up having a destiny attached to it. And all of our names do. That's why names are so important in the Bible. But I think as a you know, as a Christian culture, we've, we've tried not to like think about ourselves because we want to think more about Christ, but we have to understand when we think about ourselves, we are thinking about Christ because it's us that he flows through and in. And so if we're going to become like Christ in the earth, we have to discover how he designed us to be and operate in the earth. So just to connect whatever you guys have inside of you, that's, that's been there all along, God's going to awaken it and he's going to give you the strategy to bring it into the earth realm. And I want to know what he reveals to you guys. So if you could, I mean, whatever you want to do, message, um, get on here and just put what, what he shows you anytime, anytime he speaks to you. And also just wanted to mention this book that, that I read. Um, it's called Beyond Human, Fully Identified in the New Creation by Justin Paul Abraham. 
And it just dives deep into how Christ designed us to be and what was restored when he came and, and died on the cross and rose. So Beyond Human, I think that's like a freaking amazing book. You'll love it. Like it'll just shoot you into heaven. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much all I felt that that I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for having me. Come on, you guys, give it up for my wife. She just, um, come on, she's amazing. Um, yeah, I hope that touched you guys. And yeah, her story, I mean, just really, it was her that brought me into the prophetic. She was the first person to bring me into the prophetic. She introduced me to um, uh, an apostle named Dr. Ronald Pate, who basically was, um, who knew, you know, Ed Silvoso, who wrote Anointed for Business, who wrote The Ecclesia. Um, talked about stories from Carlos Sancandia, Ed, Dr. Ed Savoso, people that have transformed whole cities through the kingdom, through this revelation in business and marketplace and culture. And that's really where I got trained for five years. My wife was learning for about seven, eight years. Um, and really, you know, that even that, like that getting married was a such a prophetic thing for the military, for keeping me when I always thought about business keeping me always like, you know, bouncing ideas and, you know, trying and failing different things and not even failing, you know, but just like where the businesses weren't, you know, the thing, right. The, the ideas I did during my journey while I was getting a business degree, while I was, you know, investing in myself and self-education, all that stuff, you know, I was just trying things out. And in your twenties, you know, it's like the, the Levite, you know, 20 to 30, you're trying things out, you're testing things out. And, um, you know, that was the journey for me. Um, so I want to um, drop some keys. If you guys want some keys, you want to see, hey, how do we get in this private group of warriors? What, you know, what specials do you have for us? What is, what open doors is ready for you guys? Let me know, drop some keys, drop some fire emojis. And I want to share and give you an invitation to be in this elite group of kingdom warrior and dreamer um, investors, people who are in the network. We got venture capital people, we got movie producers, we got, um, you know, writers, creatives, investors, people who are just looking for places to sow into the kingdom. Um, you didn't get to hear from our ministry that we're partnering with. 10% of our project is going to, we just purchased land in Uganda with Press's Kids Foundation. And we um, were working on really even fighting. And you just heard my wife's heart. My wife and I got married under, you know, the tents that um, you know, our dreams were aligned in going to Africa, shooting documentary, shining light, making, um, you know, amazing films in the future that are going to that are going to impact people. So I want to play this video for you guys real quick to see see more about one of our artists, Sean Donahue. We have creatives coming in our community. We have over 20 people on staff now. The creatives and holders in our community are now getting, um, you know, on on mission with us on staff to even, you know, do their dreams with us. So I want to show one of the examples real quick. And then, um, and then I will show you guys more on what we're doing.
Man, you guys give it up for Sean Donahue. It's it's so amazing to see some of the artists and creatives that have just come into the community and adding value to this project for everyone. Um, we even have a so between the film, we basically got a half a million dollar asset now with the film um, plus, and then we have a, the art. So just a little background on the art. Each package you get, you know, you could buy ten, you could buy twenty, you could buy one, but each package you get. Um, the the artist has worked with one it's nicholas burgess who has sold over a million dollars of art to sony playstation 4 and um you know been in been in art you know 10 15 years of doing this and um he also had another um girl that worked with him that graduated from a california um amazing art university but anyways they're both just super talented artists and just the art alone that you guys are getting and owning on the blockchain is just amazing. So these amazing warriors. And the cool thing is you just saw some of the warriors right there. And um, each you get each each different one, you get a different warrior. So if you buy 10, you get 10 of those different custom unique warriors. And then um, let me share uh, my screen real quick. So yeah, each one is, commun uh, is rare. Put in the comments below, all kingdom warriors are rare. So and also I want to show you guys, I didn't, I didn't want to... Um, this is going to take a while, so I'm just going to run you through this part real quick. In the bottom of the link, um, Kingdom Warriors NFT.io slash adventure, you can go through all of this. But the starting point was basically like we we imagined what would it look like to build a Star Wars, a Marvel, you know, an epic media company where we invite people to have ownership on the blockchain of it. So we asked, you know, what, you know, what would it be like if George Lucas or Stan Lee offered you a share in Star Wars or Marvel before they became household names? You know, would you say yes? And, you know, we talked about, you know, the team from Sony, Disney and Marvel, some of the people on our team, we go into our mission, you know, our roadmap, um, which some of it on the film side, it came to pass way quicker. We show some of our team. So at the bottom of that um, website, in the link in description and also in the comments, Kingdom Warriors NFT.io slash adventure, you can go and see this. Um, you can go download our white paper so you can see more on our team, um, the people on it. You can see, um, you know, kind of some of the vision for the music side. So we have like a music label. We got the film division. We have just the community and courses and coaching that you get within just holding the NFT. You also are earning um, Everlight token, 100 Everlight token that you can auto stake. So you don't even have to do anything on the blockchain. And there's 100 billion of these tokens. So that's something we're going to launch probably this summer officially. Right now it is on the blockchain, but it's a utility token, meaning there's no... Um, there's no like there's no it's not liquid. You can't liquidate it. It's only good um, right now in our kind of our space. Um, and even then, we're still working on some things to even be able to use that. But that's just an extra bonus. But some of the memberships and things that we're building with this, um, the worlds, we, we secured a membership. Um, if you're a holder of our NFT, now you get value. You get a thousand dollar subscription to one of the largest Christian online libraries, Raising Royalty. Um, we have three worlds on the blockchain that we're developing for you, your family, your kids, other people to experience. Um, so I just wanted to run through that quickly. And then you can download this at the bottom of the funnel right now. You can download this, watch the hour and a half um, longer part of the film side of um, our division and also um, see that part. So I wanted to just share that with you um, real quick. Um Dr. Joseph, oh, did you um, have anything um, before I go to the next one? Anything you want to add for people who are, you know, just kind of new and just people who are like, man, like, you know, thinking about NFTs and kind of sometimes we do overcomplicate the getting into some, you know, newer stuff. Anything you'd want to add on that? Well, at the start of 2022, I didn't know anything about NFTs. I didn't know what NFT stood for. Didn't know anything about Web3 or the metaverse. And then it was Roger Gauthier that introduced me to that and then told me about you. And then we got connected. And so I liked what uh, Kathy said about don't overthink it. <laughs> like, keep it really simple. Uh, and someone brought out too about the person that's behind it uh, matters a lot. Uh, you know, and so you, it's not just you, but the team uh, that's behind it too, that matters a lot. So you know, there's a lot of uh, scams or that uh, with NFTs, but here you're really investing in the kingdom. It's 100% kingdom. And as I mentioned earlier, too, you know, 
this is something you know you started out eric and you wrote a book and then you launched your nf nfts you had your offers and then you moved from and then you moved to developing the film and then you know 2023 you're working on uh, developing a game, and that's so po popular with young people. So there's a progression here uh, of just advancement. And so when people make the investment, they truly are investing in something that's changing the world, that's changing culture, that's changing arts and entertainment. And so I encourage people to uh, make the investment in themselves and also uh, in the kingdom of God and just don't try to figure it out. You don't have to understand it. I know someone, you know, one of my very close friends uh, chose to become a kingdom general and invested $7,777. And so many doors have opened up since. Uh, one of the, and I appreciated what each person had to say. I mean, there was so much value for each of the panelists, what they were sharing. But someone was just talking about, hey, I, I can't, maybe, I don't, I don't remember which one it was, but they said that they, they chose to just, like the Lord said, do this. Or maybe it was Kathy, but said, join. And so she joined and then said door started to open. Well, it was the same with me, uh, with, you know, just getting involved with you, sharing your story and exposing my audience to it. And so I think this is a, yeah, this is an awesome opportunity. The other thing I'll say too, is that I hosted Eric on a webinar uh, for our Empower Disciples broadcast. It happened to be 818-2022. Now, we just were doing these on the first and third Thursday of the month. So we didn't choose that date, but it turned out 818 goes along with Deuteronomy uh, 818, you know, about God giving us the power to great wealth. And there was so much favor on that broadcast. But when I was going from my home office to the Global Apostolic Networking Center, I heard clearly in my spirit, Joseph, this technology, you know, the Web3, the NFTs, you know, et cetera, is the greatest advancement in technology in your lifetime and in general i've been ahead of the curve uh, with a lot of things but the lord's telling me joseph this is the greatest advancement in technology so you know to you, those of you that this is brand new and that's okay it was new to my audience it was new to me i made the plunge to get involved and it's been an incredible journey uh since uh, yeah and so i just say yeah get involved um and if you're unsure just write on a piece of paper, Father, is this something you would like me to invest in, to get involved with? Is this a community for me? And then let him answer. And he'll he's a good, good father, and he'll answer. So if you get a yes, get involved. If you get a no, well, then don't get involved. Thank you, Eric. Man, so good. You guys give it up for Dr. Joseph Pegg and Power 2000. Um, you know, we just love their mission. Um, Joseph, his wife, and all of their staff and team, uh, and we're just dreaming bigger together and we're helping see how do we how do we dream bigger how do we collaborate to to get messages movies films books resources um out there and launching dreams and so so kingdom warriors we honor you uh dr joseph you're kingdom general and um yeah epic supporter of kingdom warriors and we're just thrilled you know for whether the world premiere of the film and the different things we're just very excited for the advancement and how you've even helped uh really create a big dent and impact for us well, every time I'm involved with one of your uh, broadcasts, Eric, I feel so inspired, you know, and I meet new people and um, yeah, it's really a, a place of high spiritual sparking, innovation, creativity, um, you know, and it's a place where you dream bigger with God and you feel it can happen because you hear some of these testimonies and people stepping, stepping through their fears. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's such an alive community, such an engaged community, the Kingdom Warriors. And uh, I don't know how God kept, if set that, kept that name reserved for you, kingdomwarriors.com, but you got you got one of the best names. <laughs> so, crazy Man, God. come on. And yeah, and Dr. Joseph, I mean, has really opened up some big doors. Uh, Dr. Joseph is, you know, whether it's Prophet James Gold to, you know, help launch, you know, big name people. Um, and open up doors with James Goal and um, to even hang out at his house where the, the song I Can Only Imagine was produced, the studio. Um, you know, Joseph opened up that door. And then even with Johnny Enlow, who's doing amazing stuff with production and stuff, it's um, and just getting the messages out there. And, and um, yeah, Oz Hillman and Michael Pink, they're coming tomorrow. Real quick, for people even coming tomorrow for Oz Hillman and Michael Pink, 
um, what is what, you know, you've been with them over the past, you know, 10, 20 years. You know, a lot of people maybe not know about Michael Pink and Oz Hillman. Would you just even say what some of the stuff they're going to get tomorrow in that training, free training for them? Well, Michael Pink is, you can go to michaelpink.com and you can learn about him, but he's branded as America's foremost authority on biblical strategy and natural law for sales and business. So that's a lot of words, but basically, you know, God's made him an expert at uh, understanding how the Bible applies to business um, and and sales. Uh, anyways, a very humble leader, you know, very pure leader. Um, and and you know, every every time you listen to him, it's just full of pearls of wisdom. He's written a variety of books. He's definitely an extraordinary, extravagant giver. You know, just keeps giving and giving and giving to people. And so I encourage you, if you're available, to uh, participate live. If you're not available, participate live. Uh, then watch the replay. Uh, and Oz Hillman is uh, the founder of Marketplace Leaders. So you can learn more about him at marketplaceleaders.org. Uh, I've known him for uh, since, I guess, 2006. So however many years that goes back, but uh, a long time, maybe even before that. Uh, and he's written... I think over 20 books um, and has a few hundred thousand followers or subscribers, but he's been a leader in the whole God in the marketplace movement, you know, before people even knew what that was. Uh, and anyway, he's full of wisdom. Um, he's a good friend of mine. And so, yeah, I encourage you to go ahead and listen to him and let other people know too. a uh, sharing, you know, if, if this has blessed you today, share the challenge you know i mean share it with people that you know uh share it with people that you care about but sharing is the key not just a key is the key to having god's fresh living waters continue to flow through you into other people's lives the dead sea is the lowest place on planet earth it's like 600 feet below a sea level so the jordan river flows into that there's inflow of fresh water but there's nothing flowing out. And so, you know, there's no life in the, in the Dead Sea uh, in Israel. And, and so if you don't share, you kind of become like the Dead Sea and you can become spiritually constipated where you're not able to get stuff out because you, it's you haven't shared for so long. So share this opportunity with other people if it's blessed you. And, and other opportunities as you go forward, share those opportunities and even the opportunity to invest in kingdom warriors nfts let people know hey say watch it hey let's go ahead and invest 222 dollars or seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven dollars if you have the financial uh, resources to do that and let's see what god does you know we challenge you look you know take a challenge you know this is a five-day challenge but step into god's world take the chance you know invest in yourself Invest in Kingdom Warriors and see what God does. Uncommon obedience always, always, always leads to uncommon blessings. Well, you guys, write that down. Sharing is the life-giving key. It is the life-giving key. You guys, tag tag some people in there in here that need to see this. Um, let people know about this stream. Send this stream to a few people. You have no idea. And not to mention, we have day one, day two. This is day three. We still have day four, day five free value, thousands in value we're bringing to you because God has won. The Bible says we're supposed to be blessed to be a blessing. God has blessed my life with people like Joseph, Michael Payne, Oz Hillman, leaders who are pouring into our community to speak into their lives, tell stories that will unlock things, that will give breakthrough, that will bring results to you. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a joy to be able to be a blessing, to give thousands away in this project, in this. Um, you know, I looked at it last year. We were able to give the first time I've ever been able to be a part of something that was able to give six figures of to staff, to people and prizes and giveaways and buying land for ministries. Like we bought land for a ministry before we ever even bought land for ourselves. Thankfully we do have, you know, the studio here in a, a house, you know, near Nashville, Tennessee for kingdom warrior studio for our house. But we, we still haven't even purchased land for our studio, like a real studio, like, you know, with where people can do production and different rooms. And we're dreaming of that. So that's why we're crowdfunding. That's why we're dreaming. So we have talk shows and radio shows and news and, you know, spreading the good news daily for Kingdom Entertainment. 
and uh, we're dreaming big. And so, you know, just what what's happening with the film project, with the future game, with the blockchain, with the art that all of you are going to get. Um, it's just, um, yeah, the storehouse is open. Joseph, thanks for opening up doors and just for being a part of this. And we're, we're excited for 2023. It's going to be the best year for all of our missions and causes. Um, come on. You're welcome. So, L'Oreal just said, I bought five more NFTs on Sunday. You guys, if you need help as well, put onboarding, put in the comments onboarding. So our staff, Anna, Aurelio, Shanae, they can get a uh, message to you. We can get you on a Zoom call. They're, we're the only project that has decided that, hey, we're going to actually um, get on a Zoom call for people and we're going to actually um, help people onboard because we saw the problem that people were overcomplicating getting a MetaMask wallet, which takes five minutes and us airdropping it. So we decided to pay the gas ourselves to mint the NFT ourselves for you guys and airdrop it and um, eat those costs and also have staff for you um, around the world that will be ready to get on a call with you and then talk to you on live chat. And God has just given us some amazing solutions, amazing dream team to help you guys um, on this. So we made it super easy. Let me go to the site. It's kingdomwarriorsnft.io slash adventure. You can see more of our origin story from los angeles we shot this in la it was fun there's andrew snow M myself and andrew snow put in fifty thousand dollars of our own money so if we would have failed we would have just lost fifty thousand dollars in the beginning and you know faith looks like risk we knew that there was an opportunity to create something of epic proportions and find a team of people that worked with sony disney marvel and knew that there's people who care about a kingdom entertainment company that is going to still not you know, not slack on the art, not slack on animation, not slack on live action, Lord of the Rings style film and say, what if we can create our own episodes, our own series? And you're just going to keep seeing more of the music, the film, the art, the coaching, the courses. Um, but, you know, create we created really easy steps for you where once you purchase, you'll get um, you'll get one, all of the bonuses and all the course stuff um, on there. And then you'll also get a login for Kingdom Ambassador Academy. So you'll have an online coursing uh, portal. You'll get an invite to our private uh, community um, on Facebook for holders where you'll get, you know, the Zoom links and you'll be on the list to get all the Zoom link training. We have weekly training with Andrew Whalen every Thursday, one o'clock to two o'clock. Um, you're going to be brought breakthrough like you saw earlier today. Um, Michael Pink, who has, you know, mil sold millions of copies of books and has in a book and um, forward by Zig Ziglar, one of the, you know, legendary self-help people of all time um you know he's teaching a class for us um a live class training um on zoom with our holders on the divine blueprint to really be able to access you know the divine blueprint for our life to really uh, manifest results um we have the limitless time workshop um from dr joseph peck that he's doing um that you'll have access to you're going to have a bonus training from oz hillman on building a solid financial future in the digital marketplace Oz has really been looking at what's happening with central banks and all these different things and really created a way um, and a blueprint for you guys to even earn and during troubling times during chaos. And that's going to be an amazing resource to help you um, help you with your finances. We have Warrior Wednesday. That's with myself, my wife and some of our staff that will meet with our holders every week to give one project updates on how the film's going, how the music's going, um, courses, updated, you know, big updates on the project. But then we also, and we bring in speakers, we bring in trainers that will just come and pour into you to grow your business, to grow your brand. We have uh, Rick Osborne, um, you know, that's doing a three-part miniseries on what it means to be a kingdom warrior biblically, the, like the biblical foundations of a kingdom warrior. And so you're going to get that live class coming up probably in February. Every week you're going to get marketing training where our fractional CMO, Timothy, will bring in uh, marketing leaders to help you uh, market your own business. You also get a $1,000 um, premium access to raising royalty. We just added two new, um, or no, three new uh, fast action bonuses. This is for people in the next seven days. If you join, you're going to get these fast action live bonuses. We're going to do a training on how to actually make AI amazing art with MidJourney, a software called MidJourney, where you can actually make amazing AI art. Um, and then also how you can make, um, use AI to be your own personal marketing um, and branding uh, consultant uh, using AI. Um, and then we also, we have a ton of writers and we, you know, did a survey. There was a ton of people who like, they were like me, they have a book they want to get out there. They have a story. 
we're going to do a Kingdom Bestseller two-part series um, on Kingdom Bestseller Secrets with Sophia and Philip Ladder, which they've, um, you know, you know, wrote and I think it was, I don't know, one or two best-selling books, but they've helped launch like from Bethel, Seth Dahl, um, you know, a book on parenting and raising kids, um, best-selling author. Um, you know, you can hear our, read our letter right here, but I want to go to some of the packages. You can see more on the production partners, our film, you know, right now we have over 700 people in our network that are holders. So you're going to join an epic tribe from the production company. You just heard from Hamid and they worked with Morpheus from the Matrix, Mel Gibson's son, Milo Gibson. Uh, we were at their house. It was an amazing experience. Um, you can see more on our story that God gave us a God given story that now we've been able to get, you know, one of the best script writers of all time, Hamid, to write the script and get Lord of the Rings actor involved and excited, um, you know, to what, what we're working on with the game and partnerships to develop our video game. To the head of music, you'll hear uh, he rapped for us yesterday, Michael Morgan. Uh, you know, he's taken our uh, Kingdom Warriors music and led to now our music's been heard uh, in 118 nations. The top five were United States, Germany, Finland, United Kingdom, and Hong Kong. We got almost 100,000 streams, um, over 2.5 thousand hours of stream time, 25,000 listeners. And that's just on the free music production, really getting it out there. We're just really doing the taste and see model, letting people hear the music and come in and just enjoy it. Um, we haven't even really monetized that side of the business yet, which there's going to be just a lot of growth to just one, build the audience on the music side. Um, so when you're connected to the ownership of this brand, you're connected to as all of the brand grows, your assets have the potential to grow. And you'll see that down below. You'll see people who have sold their NFTs for for a growth. We are asking that this year is like our really our real build year. So over the next six months, you know, to 12 months, we've hired Andrew Whalen to train you guys every week. Myself and other people are helping train. Um, and we're really as our film is coming out, we actually have a movie premiere launch um, this May. But as the film is coming out, you're going to see, um, you're, yeah, you're going to see just so much more momentum for our project once our big assets, you know, really come and launch. Um, so, you know, we've just been stewarding everything we have with our staff and our treasure, and really being able to multiply it. Um, so, help us make impact, you guys. You once you get um, buy your package, you'll get a badge. Go on Kingdom Warriors, share your message. Why you must become a warrior. The homework today is why you must become a warrior, go in the private group on kingdomnfts.com, share in the group why you must become a warrior, why we must manifest the kingdom in our sphere of society today. <coughs> so just for having one NFT, you're just getting tons of all these resources. You're getting my ebook, you're getting Dr. Joseph's ebook, you're getting the live action training, all this stuff. 8,500 value just for the 222. Um, you know, for the 777, you're going to get five NFTs. So five times the 222 for 777 plus you're going to get some extra like when the novel comes out i um jessica madden has been working on the full the live action um novel for the kingdom warrior series uh and you know it's cool that we've been able to this project not even fund people to now write a book and like do things that they've always dreamed of and it's like that is what you guys are doing um you can go below and see even the charity side you can see precious kids foundation the orphans and widows you guys are supporting and the fruit from that um, in a video down below on this page. Um, um, so yeah, Kingdom. why you want to become a Kingdom General is one, you get access to our VIP every time we do a monthly event and we bring our speakers, you get access to hang out with Dr. Brian Simmons, Michael Pink, Oz Hillman, all the different speakers. We're talking to Sean Bowles. Sean Bowles said he wants to come on one. Um, different people, Johnny Enlow. We're going to keep bringing the top tier Web3, top, uh, top tier prophetic and apostolic speakers to really come in and say, how do you, how do we launch? How do we um, help mobilize our army, mobilize the kingdom warriors to go out and see the kingdom of God be released through high excellence. Everything that we do is going to just be, um, you know, just be awesome because the more we really understand, the more we hone in our craft, the more we just get on our uh, game, you guys are just going to keep providing more excellence. And we have a safe place to encourage you while you're honing your gift while you're honing in speaking, writing, um, just being an investor and just being a, a person, a citizen in the kingdom of God. Um, but when you have 10 NFTs, you're also going to get a monthly call with with only kingdom generals like Dr. Mark and, you know, Dr. Joseph, other people who are kingdom generals. And we'll have um, a mastermind for that. There's also some other just special bonuses just for being a kingdom general. And then 
the best one you can get for value is the five star um five star kingdom general we have you can do three payments of 2777 you're going to get 50 nfts but also another 27 so 77 total of these nfts you're going to get a custom kingdom war avatar also a, a monthly call just with five star generals but you're also going to get a signed um eladria movie poster a physical uh, movie poster signed by um, some of our producers and cast you're going to get when we we're going to be doing some mansion events in colorado we're going to tulsa next week um and renting out an airbnb with some of our um team and um you know speaking at an or roberts university event so you're, when we go to colorado or florida we do some of our mastermind events you're going to get 50 percent off of that and we're actually putting a name of at the end of the credits of this film series you're going to also be getting um your name at the end of the credits and you're also going to be able to get an invite to the world premiere if you're a five-star general, um, where that's going to be May 5th for the world premiere. We just actually locked in Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, it's Franklin Theater, one of the most historic, amazing theaters. Um, total God story just on that one. Um, but also we shot this course, um, a $20,000 production course, NFT Movement Maker Launchpad, to help you learn how to raise capital, learn how to... Do everything that we've done for our God dream, for whatever your God dream is. You're going to access to that $20,000 production course um, Just that's going to come with um, this price. So you're not even having to pay extra for it. You're also getting physical prophetic art. Some of the art behind me that talked about Deuteronomy 818 and some of the prophetic art that unlocked us even doing what we're doing um, by one of our kingdom generals is going to draw you um, a digital prophetic art, two free lion pendants, but also a physical prophetic art canvas um they're going to give you plus this course plus a um music a custom music nft that's going to be just for five star generals we also have only 70 one of 75 of these swords so we have about like 25 five star generals so that'll be something you'll get plus that course and then for all holders anyone that just does the 222 you're going to get all of these bonuses dr brian simmons dr uh darlene mayo and dr mark smith science of the supernatural Michael Morgan, who is a former Disney actor and pro gamer and the head of our music department, um, teaching on from Disney to decentralized entertainment, um, learn about God's government, learn about um, even having systems and automation training from Vera. I mean, you guys, the Kingdom Day Traders, the resources are just like over and beyond of what's our community is adding so much value. The speakers, our network is providing so much value to where if you own one asset or if you own 10 or if you own 50, so much value is be get, being given to each level. So um, it's just extraordinary what people have um, done. I want to just share this um, real quick. Let me see if um, be a little bit of the um, what also your human impact, Hello. kingdom impact. Yes, this is George Mukeza, the CF Operations Kids Foundation, Uganda. Uh, with me here are the uh, tomatoes. That this is some of the fruit, you guys. In Uganda, natural tomatoes. So we bless God for you. Thank you for your support that you give, you render to us as Precious Kids Foundation in Uganda. Thank you, Kingdom Warriors. And we're going to Uganda this year. We actually hello, did a hello, hello, Kingdom Warriors. We did a giveaway Uganda. too for some of three Thank of our tribe is uh, one a, a safari, on a safari and a mission trip to Uganda. Beautiful fruit you're seeing is a delicacy in Uganda, and these are yellow bananas. They are so sweet and. But the melons, the fruit is just so powerful out there. Um, and um, there's more oh, yeah. more videos online um, and in our community as well from uh, just the the mission side, which has been which has been amazing. Uh, yeah, there's there's this you you guys. It's like almost hard to say all of the all of the goodness that's happening within um, our network because here's the thing about Web three is because there's Web three. There's so many people who are now you all 700 people have ownership in this, so they're getting their gifts and talents music writing um so much this goodness that they're giving to our community books we have authors that are coming in adding that as you know nft for beginners book um it's just been amazing um so you guys jump on board um why you must become a warrior is the homework why you must manifest the kingdom go live in the group um if you're a warrior um, already show why you're in this what you're doing jump on board help us you guys there's only um oh yeah out of eight thousand eight hundred eighty-eight. We've already sold 300 and God said that like Gideon, our 300 warriors were going to take us to the next level. And then from going from a humble 300 warriors, we ended up going to 2,222 warriors, which was God given us like Isaiah 22, 22. 
given as the keys of David to um, the doors that God was going to open, no man can shut. And then, um, and then once we sold out of that collection and pivoting, we did a full pivot from NFT Discord to saying we're going to train Christians. We're going to train Christians to onboard into Web3. We're going to train believers how to get into the great wealth transfer. That was not going to come just from mailbox money, but it was going to come through positioning ourselves to prosper, position ourselves in networks and rivers of flowing water that's going to flow into our wallets, flow into our MetaMask through us being and I've I've got, since being in this crypto blockchain world, I've had so many airdrops where I made three thousand dollars, a thousand dollars, different things just by being connected to different projects where I got God airdrops to my account. And I was just like, wow, this I didn't expect this to turn into an extra three thousand dollars or and this is the things that we're building with developers. And this is why we need more resource to hire more developers, more blockchain people, more people to help us build this technology. It's not cheap, but if you have a God dream. God will supply the provision, the provision for the vision. And so the vision is crystal clear. You guys, we have the team, we have the dream to make it happen. And we already have 700 people on board, um, owning 7,000 plus NFTs. There's less than 1500 left. Grab your package. You guys, um, the, the link is right there. It should be in there. We'll also, we'll email it out to you guys. Um, but it's amazing. You guys, the great transfer, great wealth transfer is happening this decade. We are building, we are pioneering, we are paving the way for the desolate cities to rebuild the ancient ruins. Um, and we just thank everyone that has been, um, you know, lighting the fire with us, that are locking arms, that are providing value, bringing their dreams, bringing their gifts and talents to kingdom warriors to express and manifest, you know, the sons and daughters of God in only ways that each unique warrior can do. And you guys are unique, rare warriors. You guys are going to be owning these unique, rare warriors designed by an amazing artist, Nicholas. Um, he used to work for Sony, and now he's designing the art for you guys. Um, and we're not stopping you guys. We're not stopping until we're at the top of, you know, media and influence. And, you know, for not just my daughters, your kids, your grandkids, you know, betting on the future generations, betting on ourselves, but betting on, you know, our gifts and talents and creativity, being able to impact culture and not just um, not just Christian culture, but we're going to be impacting culture way beyond just religious Christian culture. They're, we're going to reach, the kingdom is going to advance everywhere throughout culture, not just for, you know, a, a small group of, you know, a Christian audience will like some of this cheesy stuff. You know, if you look at Hamid and some of the production people and gaming stuff that we're dreaming about, it's not just stuff that's kind of cheesy stuff. This is stuff that we're bringing the top of the people that are working with Lionsgate Studios who made Hunger Games. They made John Wick. They made all these, you know, dystopian films and, you know, what if we can create some of the best dystopian film of light versus darkness, good versus evil, the hero's journey, going from an orphan identity to king identity, and all through while creating those films, while creating those dreams, what if you get to be in the stream that actually allows us all to unlock our orphan identity and, and step into our kingship, step into the king and priestly anointing God has for you. So that's what I want to declare for you. It's time to make kingdom impact. Once you make your order, um, you know, we have the fast action bonuses for people who are making decisions, who are like, I'm a go getter. I'm going to I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going to make decisions. I'm going to get in the game. We got extra bonuses for you um, who are purchasing before the timer goes out and uh, we will be sold out soon. You guys so hop on board, join the kingdom. Um, if you're in VIP, um, we'll see you backstage. Otherwise, we got Michael Pink, Oz Hillman coming on one central tomorrow. Mark your calendar, watch the replays, do your homework, go live in the group. Shalom, and we'll see you tomorrow.